Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the pixeldatabase.net picture of the day. I just happened to decide to delete my recycle bin before I made this video, and I didn't haven't done it in probably four years, and I have 110 gig in my recycle bin. Good to find out. I thought this would be really quick. I'm going to minimize that. I was just showing you. I thought it was kind of funny that I had that much in my recycle bin. Didn't realize how much data that I delete all the time. All right, so this is pixeldatabase.net. Actually, this is Twitter course but what I'm going to show you here is the picture of the day this person here says this is a Molly ring zeros I hope they don't mind me using their picture but they say yes this is next Nessus which I don't even know what Nessus is but I'm gonna just copy their image I already gave it a yes sorry didn't mean to be doing that while I was making this video but okay I'll just minimize that again Okay, so now we're going to go to paint.net, which hopefully everybody watching this is familiar with. But if not, it's my favorite graphics program. And Pixel Database is my favorite um, combined with that. I have a feeling that, uh, okay, I'm going to image crop to selection. While my recycle bin's deleting my in, in recording, my computer's getting kind of extra having fun, but that's okay. This is pixeldatabase.net. This is my site. I've had it live for about a couple of weeks and I fixed a few bugs and now it works pretty well. So I would like uh, your opinion of it. I am going to, oh, first, sorry, got to save our image here. See, I'm just going to call this Nessus, which hopefully somebody knows what Nessus is. Can tell me in the comments, please. Okay, now I am going to go back over to pixeldatabase.net, click on the start button. Now I'm going to select my image here. Okay, this is pixeldatabase.net. I'll just give you the very quick tour. But the biggest thing we're going to do is click on the color picker. Ah, I just turned it off. Now it's back on. The color picker will show you wherever you click in your image. So here's the red, green, and blue values. Here's the alpha, the X, the Y, the total, blue, green, and green, red. All right, so what I want to do now in this picture, I am going to try to turn this kind of brown looking grass green but leave the rest of the picture as is so the way I'm going to do that is if I click right here that'll give me the Y value so I'm going to first do this I'm going to do swap let me click on the swap button and I want to swap green red so what I'm going to do next is hit uh, enter type the word where and then on the next line I'm going to say Y now first I'll just use, you can use this if you want, Y greater than 458. I usually type because I type really fast, but if typing's not your thing or you're driving while you're doing this, just kidding. But anyway, uh, what I'm going to do next is go to, uh, there's a property, the help explains this better than I can do in this short video, but I'm going to, there's a property called blue red difference. So if you look here, if you subtract blue and then subtract 162, it's going to be a negative number. And I just fixed a bug yesterday to where now I can do this. Where total, which again, total is just the sum of, I mean, excuse me, not total, sorry. I've been up for five, about a total of a few minutes now. Where blue, red difference, and I probably should make some buttons for this so it's a little easier to type all the, but anyway, blue, red difference less than negative 30. And I'll just go ahead and hit apply. Okay, I think that's pretty cool. You could not do that in paint.net, or I couldn't. I've seen some people do some pretty amazing things in paint.net, and there's probably some plugins that could do it, and that's on my list. If you would like me to build a paint.net plugin for this, let me know. It's on my list. Somebody kind of told me how, but it's got a learning curve. But if anybody wants it, I will do it. But that is all I'm going to show in this video. I'm going to download it first. I'll just show you really quickly the difference compared in paint.net. And I'm going to call this one Nessus green grass or something okay now I want to open it and that'll open in paint.net and now I'll just show you if you click the difference you can kind of tell it's basically you know it did a pretty good job I'm a programmer so if you're not familiar with SQL it's called SQL which stands for structured query language it'll take a little bit of getting used to but the help has a bunch of examples so let me know if you have any questions comments suggestions if you like it, let me know. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day.